please welcome the fabulous Valerie Bertinelli, Wendy Malik, and Jane Lee. Yes. Cute. Hi, Val. Hi, nice to see you again. Hi, Blue. Look at you. I love this. Hi, Jane. How are you? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so you all coordinated. Do you discuss? No, we don't. We don't. But we all show it up wearing the same works. colors. Matching, yeah. matching. And my thing about skirts and stuff, do you find that sometimes um, y younger people look at older people and say, it's too young for you? Well, See, th this morning my husband said, what are you, in ninth grade? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love I a love short, it. flirty yeah. skirt and like it's that. it's not too, too short. Well, they, it's not too you short. know what they say, short. the legs are the last things to go, so hang them out there. <laughs> yeah. Hang them out there. <laughs> Congratulations on season six. Thank, thank you. Same you. to you. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, what's new this season? What's new? Um, well, the cliffhanger was I got proposed to by three, three guys. Oh, yes, Craig Ferguson and um, <laughs> Dave Foley and Tim Daly. Yeah. So that's a quality problem yeah, to have. Yeah, that's a pretty nice yeah. one. And I, um, I am offered a role. Well, actually, I have to fight for it on a gritty new HBO drama. Uh -huh. My character is uh, with a very eccentric director. Which actually ends up shooting in Cleveland. <laughs> what are oh, the odds? perfect! I was going to say. So, are you leaving Cleveland? Yeah. And Valerie, what are you doing? What am I doing? I think my Melanie's radio show is still going. So, yes. Will Sassa would be back a lot, which I yes. love. love. Very and nice. And we meet our neighbor across the street that I have a crush on. Yeah. So we'll oh. yeah we'll see. Is, Played is, by is, the fabulous Reese Darby. I don't know if you asked. Flight yeah. of the Concords. He was on that. He's oh. really funny. Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's from New Zealand and he's fabulous. He's, New Zealand. he's oh, got we, that really cute yeah. accent. We've got loads of fabulous guest stars. Yeah. Leslie Nickel from nice. Downton Abbey. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. It's a fun show. Oh. It's a fun show People to watch. It's easy to, it's easy to watch, and it, you can tell that you all get along behind the scenes. Also, like the chemistry is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely there. Now. Valerie, last time you were here, you had broken your foot. Yes. And yeah, you can still see the scar. But she, yeah, but you know the, you can the see thing she's is, back in her high heels. Yeah, but you're back in your heels, of course. And you've dropped some lbs. Uh, just a few, but not not all of them yet. They're yeah. still coming off. It's a little bit. I guess it takes I a little bit longer. Fabulous. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, you look great. You look Thank great. You. I mean, you're comfortable enough to wear a bikini again. Well, I, you know what? I put that bikini on because first of all, it was hot, and then I Instagrammed. Oh, that's <laughs> But you know what? I'm a lot heavier there than I was when I originally put the bikini on, I don't know, three years ago? Yes. So I thought, you know what? So what? I have a few extra LBs. I still look pretty okay in a bikini, so I'm going to wear it. This is what you do. I look terrible in a bikini. No, you don't. You have amazing legs. We would be more like free-range chicken. Yeah, we'd look like a... Did you guys... First of all, you know, we're all of a particular age, but as actresses, do you feel pressure to go under the knife? At all, I, I think it would be a big mistake. Yeah. I'm me. afraid to do it going to the knife here because the you Zellweger. can't hide it. The no, you just can't hide it. I mean, I've thought about you know my, my eyes are getting a little bit more flappy yeah, yeah. And, and more skin up there, but I thought, but if it, what if the doctor isn't as anal as I am and he takes too much skin off and, oh, and then I can't. I, and yeah. your eyes are. I, and, you know, and we all have been talking about how much you know probably a lot of you love to watch Downton Abbey and all these fabulous British shows that we were all so mad for, and you see how actors, actresses in other countries like in Britain, so many of them just own who they are and they become these fabulous characters exactly. like Judy Dench. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you know what it is. To me, the sexiest thing is self-confidence and, and an ease and comfort with oneself that yes. comes with age. Yes, yes, yes. You know? So, all three of you are happily married. Um, people always want to know, you know, what's the secret? Now, your first husband, Eddie Van Halen, you've got your son, Wolfgang, mm -hmm. who, by the way, is handsome. Isn't he? Oh, I, my I gosh. I love my boy. Well, he's my boy. He first, is I love so him. Oh, look handsome. at Wolfie. How old is he, Wolfgang? He will be, uh, he'll be 24 in March. Wow. Does he have a girlfriend? No, he... they just broke up, and I really liked her, so I miss her. But, you know, he, they... I, hmm. Does he enjoy I'm being on the road with Eddie? He does. He loves. Oh, he loves playing with his father. Yes. And he's also in a band called Tremonti. Uh -huh. And he was recording in Miami with them. And it was. I, we got to go by and see him at the Hit Factory. And I, I get to see Wolfie hang out with you know friends. And it's nice. I, I like the people he has surrounded himself with. They're now you, guys. you and your husband. How long have you been your second husband? We've been together ten years. We've been married. Uh, I think it's going on four. So what's your secret? Uh, couples therapy. We were there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 
even, even when there's nothing to go to therapy about? Oh, yeah, but sometimes we'll be in the car and go, what are we going to talk about? We're actually getting along right now. And, um, yeah. But you, something comes up all the time. How often do you go? Um, maybe two, three times a month. Really? Yeah. But that's they, actually, it's like, that's like tending a garden and yeah, putting, for, you know, putting in fertilizer before you have a problem. Right. Is it a, do you go to a male <laughs> or a female? So spraying something. Do, male or yeah. female? No, it's a couple. It's a married couple. So there's a man and a woman. That's and the that's best invention us. ever. So nobody feels that's like right. sides are being taken. Right. You get the male view, the female. I love these therapists. They're fabulous. Now, I, I suggest everybody that's married find couples therapy. The, oh. A couple's couple therapy. Yeah. So now, Wendy, what's, um, you, you're married. You're raising a 13-year-old. Uh, our niece, yes, yes, we were helping raise her, and she lives with us most of the time. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it was something we didn't expect. We never, uh, we, I couldn't have kids. It wasn't in the cards for me. But it's interesting how the universe opens up its <laughs> right. these possibilities to you. And we just didn't expect this, but but here we are with a 13-year-old in our house. And it's very helpful that my friend Jane here has a 13-year-old as you well. Have and have 13 friends. and a 10-year-old. Yeah, yeah. And now how long friends, have you been so married? Helps. Uh, I think it's nearly 20 years. I'm terrible with anniversaries. But, yeah, yeah. Um, too. But and yeah. I married my best friend who I found super Is hot. You? Oh. Yes. Now, I love him. Now, for you two with the 13-year-olds, what are your ground rules? Oh, like, what do you put yeah. up with and not put well, up with? Well, with, with, uh, with Gwen, we, um, it's no telephones from Sunday night until Friday morning. She surrenders her phone on Sunday night. Wow. Yeah. She wow. said, do you realize how harsh that is? And we said, yes, we do. Yeah. But, you know, it's, but she, she can still, still she can tweet and, and be on the computer, but it's not having that device here all the time, yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. And that allows her, I think, to nice. have a different experience again. Listen, um, the ladies are going to stick around because they're going to help me give away some cash in a game of truth or bluff. We're making it rain all November long, and today we're play playing a game of truth or bluff with the cast of Hot in Cleveland, and our audience member, Diane, who's from Gainesville, Florida, and she's a psychic medium. Oh! oh. I know. Oh, so she studied for three years. So all right, sure so um, the girls are gonna share some personal facts about themselves, and me and Diane have to guess who's telling the truth and who's lying. Each correct well, answer, lying. Diane, uh, bluffing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, lie. Okay. Each yeah, correct answer is worth 250 bucks. Woo -woo. Okay. All right. So let's get started with the first statement. We're going to go down the line. We're going to start with you, Valerie. Okay. Um, Where do I? I right here. I, I can stand on my head in a cocktail dress. That wait. Mm -hmm. She makes the statement. Yeah. I'm messing up a game already. Go ahead, Val. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I can stand on my head in a cocktail dress. I can stand on my head in a cocktail dress. I can stand on my head in a cocktail dress, and the secret is a good pair of knickers. <laughs> okay, now we have to deliberate. Now look. When, when it goes back and forth like this with her life, do you know what I'm saying? We think it's you, Wendy. Oh, reveal. Oh, true! <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, really right. okay, 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 let's do the next um, one. Uh, you again, Val. Oh, God. I'm double jointed. Hey, <laughs> I'm double jointed. I'm double jointed. <laughs> okay. Again, if you look at me. All right, um, reveal, oh, excuse me, what do I say? Who we think it is? It's you, Valerie. Now, three, two, one, reveal. Oh. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Make sure nothing. Well, I can only do one arm because the other one's bad, but I can do it with my legs, too. Oh. I'm double-jointed, too. <laughs> um, well, all right, so, all right, so, so far you got 250 bucks. Go on with the next statement. I drive to work in a golf cart. I drive to work in a golf cart. I drive to work in a golf cart. Come on, use some of that psychic medium stuff. <laughs> Oh, 
We both think it's Valerie. Three, two, oh, yay, yay, yay! Okay, that's 500 bucks, Diane. Okay, uh, the final statement, Valerie, you go. Mm -hmm. Betty White has said that I am her favorite co-star. <laughs> no, 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 Betty White <laughs> says I'm her favorite co-star. Betty White says I'm her favorite co-star. <laughs> All right, Diane, we got this, come on. I know. The answer would be... I think all three. Me too. See? All right. You, my dear, got 750 bucks cash. Here, count that out and give me the rest. Let me say goodbye to our guests. Everyone in the studio audience, you're all winners. You're going home with a season five DVD of Hot in Cleveland. Girls, lovely to see you again. Thank you.